Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bearish reversal signal what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. As usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for VBOL. My name is Vadik, let's start from VBOL index chart looks like market was kind of negative all day and at the end of the day it even got got in the in the war situation nasdaq was two and a quarter percent s p 500 minus one and a half percent and dow jones minus almost one percent bearish reversal signal right now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review if you want to learn more about Vibol setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibol setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages, white line MA200, purple line is MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator lines, RSI indicator lines, also oscillator bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators never, they do not have emotions. Like on my screen, you see MA5 green line did bearish crossover over red line. It's a bearish trend. When MA5 green line did bullish crossover over red line, it was bullish trend. While bars Above MA5, it's bullish trend, while bars below MA5, it was bearish trend. So far, look at it. Uh, for last 12 days, bars, they are kind of dancing below MA200. In this case, MA200 strong resistant. It rejected every single day. We'll see. Will it be able to do bullish crossover over 200 and continue bullish or not? It's a question. Still, trend is bullish. No bearish reversal signal for USA dollar. Qs daily time frame for swing trading. I'm using daily time frame for entry and exit position. Qs daily last bar below MA5 and 10. MA5, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. Bearish reversal signal. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. Right. Look at it, all indicators, they switch to bearish reversal signal. It left gap, gap down above and it has six gaps below. Four hours time frame, it did gap down, last bar move below M SMA5 did bearish crossover, last bar move below SMA20, bearish trend. Bearish trend on all indicators, you see. MACD did bearish crossover, RSI, awesome oscillator, all indicators aligned and gave us bearish reversal trend on 4 hours. 1 hour time frame is confirmed bearish reversal trend, right? Gap down, it kind of tried to fill this gap during the day. It still left small part, but last bar below all moving averages, still bearish trend. Bearish trend on all indicators. VXN volatility index on, on daily time frame or Q's bullish crossover, bullish trend. It's a, it means Q is bearish for Q, bearish for Q's, right? Now let's move to SP 500 SPX daily time frame, same like Q's bearish reversal signal, last bar move below MA5 and 10. All indicators ready, they did bearish crossover, bearish reversal signal. Four hours time frame, last bar moved below MA20, bearish reversal signal on all indicators. All indicators bearish and one hour time frame confirmed bearish reversal trend, gap down and bearish align bearish reversal trend on all indicators. VIX volatility index <laughs> daily time frame it did bullish crossover over 20 bullish reversal signal it's a bearish for S&P 500 
Dow Jones. Dow Jones red bar, but still above all moving averages, still positive bullish. It has bearish divergences on all indicators, right? Price action bullish, bearish divergences on all indicators. It definitely wants to have reversal. For hours time frame, bearish reversal. Trend on all indicators. Bearish reversal trend, right? One hour time frame. SMA MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Bars move below 20. Bearish trend on all indicators. Bearish trend on all indicators. Now let's move to VXD volatility index for uh, VXD for volatility index for Dow Jones. Yeah, I just move above MA20. Looks like uh, it's getting positive. IWM Russell 2000 daily. Bearish reversal last bar close below MA20. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. Four hours time frame. Bull, yeah. Bearish reversal signal last bar moved below 20 also. All indicators did bearish reversal signal. One hour time frame. Confirmed bearish reversal trend last bar below all moving averages. Are assigned very oversold territory. And it filled the gap, you see here, actually. Still 10 cents. Still 10 cents gap. 92.71, 92.58. Yeah, 20 cents gap still. Almost filled. Bearish reversal trend. Apple. Let's see Apple. Apple daily time frame. Apple daily time frame. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. And in 20, last bar moved below 20. Bearish trend. You see two times it did touch 200 and bounce. This time we'll see. Will it bounce again or it will continue bearish trend? Bearish reversal trend on all indicators for Apple. Four hours time frame. Actually, sorry, let's go back. Yeah. It, it did gap down. You see it created gap down today. Bearish trend on all indicators. All indicators did bearish crossover. One hour time frame. Bearish trend. Bearish crossover SMA MA20 did bearish crossover over 200. Bearish trend on all indicators. Tesla. Tesla daily still bearish, right? Still bearish trend on all indicators. Nothing changed. Gap above still not filled. It's multiple gaps above, but still bearish. For hours time frame, MA5 did bounce and did bullish crossover. Still, yeah, all indicators did bullish crossover, but last bar moved below all moving averages. Still bearish trend below 20. One hour time frame, it did bounce on one hour time frame. Uh, and it, it did bearish crossover again back. It did reverse back again, bearish trend. For Tesla. And NVIDIA. NVIDIA was very bullish, very positive, right? Let's see. Daily time frame, bullish trend on all indicators for NVIDIA. Four hours time frame. Still bullish trend, last bar above MA20. It did gap down additional, like multiple gaps below. It can bounce tomorrow, fill the gap. Bearish crossover on all indicators. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. On one hour time frame, also bearish reversal signal on one, in, one hour time frame. For last seven hours, it did stay on the MA50 level because MA50 strong support. It can bounce tomorrow, fill the gap and continue bearish trend. Bearish trend on all indicators. Microsoft daily. Last bar below MA5 and 10. 
bearish reversal signal right on daily four hours time frame bearish reversal signal on daily on four hours time frame also bearish reversal signal on all indicators look at it all indicators they switch to bearish reversal trend in one hour time frame also all indicators in bearish reversal trend last bar stopped at ma 100 can can bounce from it it can be strong support but so far trend is bearish for microsoft amazon amazon daily time frame last bar move below ma5 and 10 bearish reversal signal four hours time frame ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 last bar moved below 20 bearish reversal trend on all indicators one hour time frame bearish reversal trend last bar below uh, last bar below all moving averages except one 200 bearish trend on all indicators baba alibaba group daily time frame it did huge bounce right and so far from that bounce it did touch the may 50 and it was rejected and now it's in a bearish reversal trend signal in bearish reversal signal last bar moved below ma20 four hours time frame after bounce it did bearish reversal and so far it last bar sits at ma20 level all indicators ready for bearish crossover one hour time frame ma5 10 and bars below 20 20 did bearish crossover over 200 it is a bearish trend that's all very simple very simple dollar usa dollar still bullish usa dollar still bullish it's a bearish for equities but cues all other indexes and equities on daily time frame they started bearish reversal signal but on one hour and four hours time frame they, they on especially on one hour time frame they confirmed bearish trend direction market in the bearish reversal trend be careful keep stop tight if you are still bullish if you're in a bullish trend remember we follow the market trend we don't fight with the market trend Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, I'm using Paper Trading Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and, and good luck. Bye now.